Hello, the internet, and welcome to another Senior Library Innovation Studio Home Workshop, where we teach you how to talk like a scientist with experiments, activities, and explanations along the way. And today we're going to show you how to make tin can telephones and teach you about the word vibration. For this workshop, you're going to need a bit of personal protective equipment because you're going to be using a hammer and a nail. You may also need a parent to help you out. You're going to need some string and you're going to need at least two tin cans. Now, I recommend you use tin cans that have ring pull lids because the end result is slightly safer than the ones where you cut them off using a tin opener. The tin opener ones can be pretty jagged, but be aware, even with the ring pull ones, the edge can be a little sharp, so be careful when you're using your tin can telephones. Okay, get your personal protective equipment on, pick up your hammer or have your parents do this bit, get your tin can bottom side up, your nail right in the middle, and we're just gonna hammer it in so we've got a good hole there. Easy enough. And then pull it back out again. Do it with the other one. Mind your fingers. Okay. Now you're gonna tie a big fat knot on this side. So I do what I like to call a shoelace knot, where you go under, over, and through, pull it tight, as if you're starting your shoelaces, but you just keep doing that under, over, and through, pull it tight. Some people call this a granny knot. I don't know why. Some smart granny came up with it. It's the easiest knot in the world. There we go. I do three or four or more of those. Then you can pull it through. Now do that with the other end as well. Sound is a type of energy made by vibrations. Hello? When you talk, you're causing movement in the air molecules coming out of your mouth. These molecules bump into the molecules close to them, causing them to vibrate as well, and they bump into more nearby air molecules, and so on, spreading the sound you make throughout the room and into people's ears. This chain reaction of moving molecules, called sound waves, happens in the tin can telephone as well. Once the air molecules hit the base of the can, the metal molecules vibrate too. This vibrates along the molecules of the string to the other can, vibrating its metal base, which in turn vibrates the air molecules inside the can and into the ear of whoever is listening. If the string is loose, the vibrations are quickly absorbed by the dangling string, as the loose part is free to bounce around in the air until all the vibrational energy is lost. When the string's taut, the string can't do this, so the vibration rockets along the length of the string instead. You can experiment with this. Try plucking the string as you would a guitar string. Notice you can hear a musical sound when the string is taut, but nothing when the string is completely loose. You also need to make sure your tin can telephone string isn't wrapped around another object, like a tree. Even if your string is taut, that object will absorb most, if not all, of the vibrational energy and you won't hear anything down the other end. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed learning about vibration and uh, making your tin can telephones. Remember to keep your string tight. And we'll see you next time on the next CNRL Library Innovation Studio Home Workshop where we teach you how to talk like a scientist. We hope you enjoyed this workshop. Please like, share and subscribe so you and others can join us on the next CNRL Library Innovation Studio online workshop. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter or the usual places at Innovation Stew or hashtag Innovation Stew. And check the Home Workshops page on innovationstew.com.au for extra resources. See you next time.